Hello everybody, Mr. Fusion here. No wait, we're all friends. You can call me Lance. Anyway, from uh, from what I've been told, I uh, I was I was the winner, winner of uh, of the Who Reviews the Reviewers contest, the first ever Who Reviews the Reviewers contest. And Captain Logan has asked me to take a couple of minutes to talk to those would-be contestants of season two. And hey, the guy did pay me fifty bucks, right? So anyway, why should you audition? for who reviews the reviewers. Uh, I'd say that's pretty easy. Well, first of all, you get a lot of exposure, as then you meet some uh, great reviewers, and hopefully you get a lot of fans for your channel. I know that my, uh, my subscription count, my view count, raised exponentially over the past year from what it was before. But more importantly, I'd say that uh, it's a challenge. And as people constantly putting your work, your artistic work, if you will, on the internet, uh, challenging yourself is something you should always be doing, but I admit it's not always that easy to put that kind of pressure on yourself, so why not let other people do it? I, mean, I know that's a huge part of the reason why I signed up last year. I didn't know if I'd win or not, but regardless of the outcome, I was hoping to have a lot of cool new videos to show for it. To those people who have already signed up, what are some uh, tricks of the trade, I suppose, from somebody who's actually been through the contest? Uh, I don't pretend to have all the answers, but... I don't know, I guess I know something. I did manage to make it through. Don't want to sound like I'm bragging, but, well, here I am. First of all, I'd say take risks. Find a way to stand out from the rest of the pack. You might have already done your audition video, but let's, let's say that you end up being chosen as one of those eight. How are you going to make yourself stand out from those other seven people? Well, the good news is this is the perfect time to do so. It's the first round. You don't have to be the best. Don't be the second best or the third best. You just have to make sure that no more than six people are better than you. So you have plenty of room to just sort of experiment. See what works, see what doesn't, see what works for the judges, see what styles work for you. But most importantly, figure out a way to stand out from the pack because you got seven other people to work with. And even into the later rounds, I found that it still worked to take risks. Obviously, risk-taking doesn't always work, but the judges were always keen on people who would quote-unquote play the game. So you get your challenge, you don't just do the challenge, you gotta have fun with it, play with it. And so that also really ties into sort of playing with your strengths, or playing to your strengths, really. Obviously, with the wide variety of challenges you'll have, you're not always going to have something that allows you to stay in your comfort zone, but at the same time, if you're the kind of person who can just rattle off something completely ad-libbed and be entertaining and informative for several minutes, then that's, that's an amazing skill to have. If you're not, if you find yourself rambling in front of a camera and missing your points and not getting to say what you want to say, then stay scripted. Write a script, plot everything out, and just find a way that both makes you stand out from the pack and also doesn't make you say things like me where I'm talking and I maybe should have written something down, but I didn't. But I'm not in this contest anymore, so I can do whatever I want. But it should be noted that in the quest to make yourself stand out, to make, your, to make the judges notice you, never let your gimmick overpower your content. This might be due to the fact that it's video, be something of a contest of personalities, but at the end of the day, these are still reviews, and therefore what you say is going to be the most important. And so it doesn't matter if you have amazing production values or crazy gimmicks, what you say is the most important. So don't just ramble in front of a camera, don't just say this sucks, and don't explain why. Be methodical, be critical, do research. Put forth the best product you can. Those five paragraph essays they taught you in middle school, be professional. You don't have to have thousands of dollars worth of production equipment to be professional. So stay critical. Set yourself apart from the rest and find a way to play to your own strengths. It worked for me. I don't have the, the uh, amazing foolproof secret to winning who reviews the reviewers. So have fun. Actually, I do have one more thing. This is something that I probably uh, took way more seriously than I should have, but I actually, I actually gave 
No, but I never told anybody this, but I actually gave myself a challenge when I was making these videos, and that was to see how many rounds I could go without ever mentioning that I was in a contest. By the way, the answer is round five. And, and that, that wasn't because I was ashamed to be in a contest, far from it. It was, I wanted to make videos for my channel, so that if somebody came by a year later or two years later and just found this video and clicked on it, they would still find it entertaining. They would still find it informative. They wouldn't have to actually watch the contest to get enjoyment and knowledge from it. If I had one more piece of advice, it's definitely to play the game, but at the same time, don't necessarily pander. Make, make the best kind of video that you would normally make. The only difference is they're telling you what to make, but still make it the same kind of video, or the best kind of video, that, that people wouldn't have to be watching the contest to know. That's something that worked for me for a while. That was a challenge I imposed upon myself, and with a couple of exceptions, it did it, I, th I think the results came through pretty well. I offer no guarantees. There's, there's no money back for this. There's no, uh, no warranty. This is just what worked for me. So take these tips and tricks at your own risk. But most importantly of all, just give it a shot. Just get in there and do the best you can. And at the very least, you'll hopefully have a whole lot of fun doing it. So Best of luck to everybody. I've seen some of the audition videos so far, not all of them, and there are some good contenders showing up, so uh, I look forward to, uh, to hanging around and seeing just how Season 2 of Who Reviews the Reviewers goes. Thank you so much. Guys, have a good day.